Friday, September the 1st, 1939, German forces crossed the border into Poland after a huge aerial and land bombardment. The force and speed of the invasion shook the world and gave the dictionaries a new and terrifying word, Blitzkrieg. In a matter of hours, the German Air Force had destroyed the Polish railway system and shot its air force out of the skies. But far more than that, from this day on, the Second World War was inevitable. This film, shot by German cameramen, has cheering crowds of Poles giving the invasion forces a rapturous welcome. Elsewhere, a very different story. Within a month, 60,000 Poles had been killed, 200,000 wounded, and nearly three quarters of a million. Within three days of the Polish invasion, as Hitler was on his way to visit his troops at the front, the German embassy in London was formally notified that a state of war existed between the two countries. France followed suit a few hours later. The diplomatic niceties were over. The Second World War had begun. The Polish invasion had proved for the first time that a fast-moving armoured force backed by attacks from the air could overcome the stalemate of trench warfare. Hitler was to use the tactic many more times in the coming years until his armies were faced themselves with an equally strong and well-equipped force. And finally... Bonjour! I think we should declare war on Germany. Blow me, mate. I agree. Sign it. All right. He's now got against him some of the finest and toughest troops in the world, fighting under extremely difficult conditions. It was just a horrible all the time. It was really dreadful. It was the conditions that were under. Bullets going everywhere. Forced to withdraw, the Japanese decided to attempt a land invasion. Landing at Gona in the north of New Guinea, they planned reaching Port Moresby by using a little known overland track that passed through the village of Kokoda. From July 1942 till January 1943, Australian and Japanese troops battled in severe conditions and unforgiving terrain. While the history of the Kokoda campaign is well known in Australia, it still remains elusive to most Japanese. This two-part documentary...
century moves beyond the history to explore the shared experience of war told by Australian and Japanese veterans. <laughs>